Today, I'm gonna go get the summer chicken house out of the goat pen. Um, pull it out, cut the old floor out because it has the hardware cloth in it, and um, and the poop from the chickens did not uh, fall through that hardware cloth. It it built up way too much, so. Um, Plan B, I'm just gonna cut it out <clears throat> and then uh, get some of that, I can't remember what that metal's called. Like the stuff you see on uh, trailers, you know, just like utility trailers. I'll get a sheet of that and put that in the bottom. But we'll get that out and get the old floor cut out today. So we're selling the truck. We got it parked out here listed for sale um it's an o2 2500 hd silverado with the six liter v8 uh, it's got 233,000 miles on it um we really need to sell this to put it to put the money towards getting a bigger vehicle for the whole family so our plan is because we do use this um often is to get a larger passenger van you know like an express or a savannah and then we'll have that and that will be able to pull a trailer so we'll get you know just a utility trailer and um it'll cost a lot less to maintain a utility trailer than it will this we can do without this as long as we have something that can pull a trailer so if you're interested if you're seeing this around the time when this video is posted um leave a comment if you're interested in buying so that's all all right i'm gonna go pull out that old chicken coop because i gotta back the truck in there to pull the chicken coop out so i gotta cut the floor out of that that's so just make, hope you. yeah make sure there's no uh chickens around there okay come here mel haven't seen this is a our kind of mobile chicken coop um, we built it last spring and uh, it was from the neighbors old pop-up camper <clears throat> they had torn the whole camper off and just left um, a wood deck on and they were just using it for you know hauling stuff around the yard so we asked him if we could buy it from him because I had the idea, 
idea to build um, something that we could pull around the yard and then close up the chickens at night. The only problem is um, I had, you can see here, I had stapled down uh, hardware cloth there as the floor thinking as they pooped in here at night, because they only spend time in here at night, uh, that it would push through. Didn't work, it built up. Uh, so my nasty project now is to cut out this entire floor, replace it with um, like that trailer. Uh, I can't remember the exact name of it but like the stuff you see on utility trailers you get from Home Depot or Tractor Supply or whatever and lay that down. So the poop will fall right through. So I'm geared up. Okay, show you what's going on in here. I got about half of it cleaned out. <clears throat> Gonna bust out the rest of this fencing power wash it all down and then I'll climb in and cut out the wood I think I'll I don't know what I'm going to do with those wheel wells but I'm going to cut every flat surface out of the floor as much as I possibly can Basically the whole thing cut out except for that dark board along the side there because all my batteries died there on the charger. So let this dry out, drip dry, let the batteries charge. Got to do a few things tonight still. We'll come back and finish up the wood removal tomorrow. We're going to take down a few trees. We're just trying to get more sunlight in the yard. There's this cluster of four maples um, right here in the front. We're going to take these down. There's a lot of space. I can lay them down right out here. Chickens in the way, we're gonna get them out of the way first. Hey, if they're beyond that big tree, it should be fine. was good
Yeah, that was a good leaner. That's why it tore out so much. So I learned this from Buck and Billy Ray. He's a uh, old logger in Vancouver. He's got a big YouTube channel. Um, if you don't know this, I'll tell you real quick. So the easiest, you know, most common way of cutting a tree down is taking, uh, you know, putting that first cut in like I did, uh, even here. And as you make that cut, let me grab the saw here and show you. So you come in with this first flat cut and then you can use that bar where was I? I was right there. So that's where my cut stopped. See, right there. And that's where the bar's aimed. So that's, I mean, that's pretty dang close to where it was because this bar is 90 degrees with uh, your chain. So uh, you can use that to sight. And then you just bring your notch up to it and then take your back cut in so imagine your your v is here you don't want to cut all the way into it you want to leave this hinge wood here this is the hinge wood that it creates a mechanical hinge in the tree so wherever you f this face cut is pointing this hinge if you bring it in evenly, bring your back cut in evenly, it uses this wood as a hinge to lay down in that direction. So. So right here, I just wanted to interject. My to wife is the best wife ever. She's sitting across from me, trying not to laugh out loud so she doesn't mess this up. Um, this tree was leaning back uh, towards me really hard. It was all cut up, was ready to come down, but um, all of the weight, all of the limbs were leaning back towards the road, so like towards the right side of the screen. So it's getting the wedges in, and uh, it just wasn't moving enough. We were having some, you know, wind working against us. So I wanted to pull them out right, and double stack them. But as soon as I did, I got that one out. You can see right 
about here, boom, the wind goes and it starts to lean back. That was kind of scary. Right. But um, so then I couldn't no, get that sitting. kerf back open to you get the wedges to... in. I man I managed to pound up. one in, but we just had to take the rope and pull and get the weight over the center. But eventually it came down. This can be so cool. Guys, I need a pull it. I'm excited. Okay, Daddy said pull. Mel, are you going to help pull? Come on. Mel, why don't you go behind Ava? Here, Mel. All right, guys, give it nice, consistent tension. Yep, just stay right like that. Don't let go. Of, don't go back and forth. Just hold. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> All right, he's putting the wedge in. Yep, just keep keep nice tension on it, guys. Pull it, pull it. You don't have to pull, listen, listen. You don't have to pull super hard, just keep the tension because you're trying to guide it to fall this way. Okay. Just pull this. Yep, just, yep, there you go. Pull, he says, pull. So we had a little change of plans here. I, I was, I have both the trees cut up. Um, I wanted to pull them both down at the same time by holding on to that right hand stem where the rope is tied to because that's kind of behind the left hand stem. And I figured if we could pull that right hand one down, the left one would come down along with it because some of the limbs are tied up. But we just couldn't get it to move. So um, I ended up pulling the rope around that the left hand stem there. And uh, because that one's not leaning back as hard. So we took the rope out, you know, beyond the lay of the tree because we kind of know where they're going to fall because of the other two that have already dropped so gave it a few yanks and uh, this left one comes over and the right one took a lot more work because it was leaning back so far but um, we'll see it come down here in just a second <laughs> 